Yo, skip the intro. We get straight to the bit, bit, bops. You hear me? So, I've been contemplating about doing this video, bro. You know what I mean, like I've been just sitting back. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna keep it a bang with y'all. I ain't been compelled to do no videos. For real, that's why I ain't do no videos. Like I ain't been compelled to talk about nothing, bro. Like I don't. I ain't feeling this shit no more. But that's a whole other story. You hear me? But. This video I've been contemplating about doing because it's like, I ain't know if I want to risk getting flagged or something, you feel me? But at the end of the day, it's just like, it is what it is, bro. Like, you gotta, you feel me? Like, you gotta take risks, bro. I mean, sometimes the risk is greater than the reward, bro. Or the reward you gain from your risk is worth it. However you want to look at it, you hear me? So, this is my honest perspective. And I'm gonna try not to sound like three four minutes bro here's my perspective on this whole israel versus palestine beef right number one before we get to the shits you feel me because we bought the i mean you niggas is free bagels bro for real bro you niggas is free bagels and i want to say this to to, to y'all right Niggas have been so fucking Americanized and niggas are so comfortable in America and, and like niggas, bro, <laughs> niggas is crazy, bro. Niggas, bro, niggas barely, uh, like barely bat an eye at this war. This is an actual war, bro. Like they're shooting missiles, like thousands of people are dying. Like this is not like. This is some real shit. But Americans are so comfortable and they're so fucking delusional. They don't it, don't, it it doesn't move them. It doesn't really affect them. Niggas will get on camera and act like they care and give their opinions and free Israel and free Palestine and But you should be really like like this should really do something to you, bro. Like Don't ever think that the war can't come to you, bro. Don't ever ever fucking think that America could never be in that situation. You know, y'all don't let the white... Anyways, man. I don't have no feelings toward Israel or Palestine, bro. I'm gonna give you a quick uh, example. Uh, I, I had a tablet before I broke one. I sat on it and broke it, right? I had a tablet, right? And I used to always let my kids hold it. But I used to I had to find my... I found myself taking my tablet away from them because they always fighting over it. And most of the time, it's my daughters. You feel me? My six-year-old and my 12-year-old. And I'm like, how the fuck are y'all fighting over something that don't belong to either one of y'all? This is my tablet. It don't belong to you. It don't belong to you. And since y'all want to fight over it, neither one of y'all can get it. So y'all learn how to shit. So that's like my general perspective on this. So like... Y'all fighting over a land that don't belong to neither one of y'all. Like, let's just keep it a being. Palestine, uh, 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 what's the word I'm looking for, bro? Palestine inhabited that area because that, that land was left desolate because the original people were ran out of that land. That's a whole other video. I don't want to get into specific timelines because if I do that, then I'm going to have to break down other shit. It's going to make the video too long. But the original inhabitants were ran out of that land, so that land was left desolate. Okay? Then in 1947, America funded the state of Israel. And they pretty much stole land, said, fuck you Palestinians, give me this land. Jewish people are going to live here. And it now belongs to them because they're the original Jews and it's... Uh, 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 originally belonged to But let's keep it a bean It don't belong to neither one of you motherfuckers So y'all fighting over some shit That got nothing to do with y'all Now Of course everybody's gonna side with Israel Who owns and runs Everything in fucking America At least the most prominent shit Jewish people and they have so they they not scared people so much with this anti-Semitic shit. You can't you be afraid to say anything that's adverse to them. It's like they force you to say something that's in agreement and that's good. You can't have an adverse opinion about anything dealing with Jewish people. 
It's literally the same thing with homosexuals. Homosexuals is like you can't feel adverse to what they do or whatever, bro. Or it's homophobic or it's anti-Semitic. It don't matter what you say. So, of course, everybody's going to side with them. But do y'all really know what the fucking Israelis did to the Palestinians? Like, y'all don't know. I'll be here all day explaining that. Do you know what fucking the Israelis and the, the Jewish people did to our people? Did you know they had a hand in slavery? Like, it's like... But the crazy thing is, like, how America got all this sympathy for them. Sending them millions upon millions and billions of dollars. But yet, you can't even help your own citizens. That's the part that fucked me up the most. I'm not going to lie. That shit makes me angry, bro. It makes me so fucking angry, bro. You can give billions of dollars to these motherfuckers. You can jump in this person's ward, help this person, and bip, bip, bop. But your own American people you can't help? What about the war on drugs? What about the war on black on black crime? What about the war on police brutality? Like, it's like you got your own war in your own country. Y'all have yet to do anything about it. Have yet to do anything about it, bro. How you the richest country but got the most poor people? The richest country but got the most poor people. But you can afford to give them billions of dollars but can't do nothing for the poor people in your fucking country? Like, stop it, bro. So I can't find it in myself to give a fuck about what the Israelis and Palestinians go through. Fuck them. That's their problem. Especially when you got America backing them and supporting them. But you don't support our people. You never supported our people. The fuck you'll watch us struggle and kill each other and, like, if they wanted to end poverty, like, they could end it like that with the snap of a finger, bro. Anytime you can afford to send billions of dollars to these motherfuckers. But you can't send a dime to these inner city, these, these, these poverty-stricken communities? Like, stop it, bro. Like, come on. It's a fucking joke, bro. I could never take America serious. I could never believe in the white man. I, I Stop, bro. Like, come on. Like, this shit is dumb, bro. You know how much money they burn and shred? They can literally give that away, like, so I don't give a fuck about their war. They're, like, stop. They're not real Jews, neither one of you motherfuckers. Y'all are not God's chosen people. Y'all are not the people of, that the Bible speak of. Y'all are pretenders. And that's how I feel. Death to America.